And that's it. Seven o'clock on the nose. Percy was not in his seat. I did. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Got him up. <laughs> I was fulfilling my contractual so obligation. So when he turned, we went on the air. All anybody ever saw was his ass. That's right. Well, you know. Maybe we'll get more viewers. It, might, it might be their best view. Yeah. yeah. Well, you want to do the intro, Percy? <laughs> why, why not? <laughs> uh, power corrupts and absolute power corrupts absolutely. And the absolute power on our show is John Colbert of ColbertRadio.com streaming live across the World Wide Web, every Monday at 7 p.m. Eastern, we come on board to give you, the loyal listeners and archivists, our little taste of, uh, of South Carolina life. Across you know, that's the- why I have a soft spot for Brooke. That's true. I was an archivist uh, at one time. Yeah. yeah. I'm the one who cataloged all the, all the Civil War pension applications for the state of South Carolina. It took, oh me, an entire, it took me my entire like junior year or something. Uh, working part time, like four hours every evening at the state archives. So well, what am I doing? <laughs> You're doing this. Oh and, uh, no! I man. even handled Wade Hampton's widow's pension application. That was I thought that was pretty cool actually. This is her actual pension application, Wade Hampton's widow. All right. So anyway, I want to welcome my cast. Sure. Percy Hugo sitting here on my immediate right. Good to be here. And in his in in, 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 his, in his the most courageous move on his part. Uh, our new computer engineer, whose name is Bass Player. Bass Player. Bass Player. I like it. Gary, Gary Player. Bass Player is our new player. player. Uh, we go through computer engineers like crap through a goose. It's true. But what company doesn't? <laughs> well, hopefully I'll stick around. Yeah, let's keep I you around. Yeah. No, no. If you keep doing oh, the computer hope. engineering thing, we'll keep you around. But the other two have just. The well, let's face it. They're, they're all I, can, I couldn't Clemson. match the salaries. That we That's <laughs> true. It's, they're all from Clemson. <laughs> what? All of them are from Clemson. Yeah, all Clemson people. All our engineers, are Clemson people. Every single. By the way, the congratulations! You guys made the World Series, College we World did. Series today. We did. Did you beat out? They beat they Alabama. They beat Alabama. Oh, nice. Kick, oh, nice. They were kicking their ass, and then they met, they almost lost it. They almost That's, lost the game. That's pretty typical Clemson sports, right there. They were up eight to two in the ninth inning. And, and there was started and, there, back. and there was two outs, eight to six, runners in scoring position, third and second. And oh, a big no. Clemson gun comes up here, and this guy gives it a ride into deep left center, but not deep enough. <laughs> <laughs> you know, and so uh, Alabama uh, came up short on that one, and Clemson uh, won eight to six, and so Clemson. So something about this, we're, we'll do it. We'll talk about this when we get to sports. Sure, absolutely. I want to mention. The 1837 Bed and Breakfast. Mm-hmm. That's Dickie Storm's outfit. Um, if you want to find it, just go uh, go type in www1837. I think it's B and B. dot com. You'll find it. It's wonderful accommodations right there on Wentworth Street in the heart of the old historic district of, of South of Charleston, South Carolina. Mm-hmm. Um, we're going to be doing some reviews today, guys. Sounds good. Awesome. We're going to do some reviews because awesome. I went on a trip. We're going to talk a little bit about the trip, and we're going to talk about the things everybody wants. Uh, Lance Morrison, I want to bring up Lance, mm-hmm. our comedian who also now works for Verizon Wireless. Mm-hmm. And uh, so uh, you want to contact uh, Lance, go to WLanceMorrison at BellSouth.net or LanceMorrison.Webs.com. He's at 103 Prospect Way, Goose Creek, South Carolina, 29445. His number is area code 843 609 Three, four. Did we just give out his home address and phone number? Yeah, I think we, think we did. That's well, then he shouldn't give me the card. <laughs> Those kinds of things go out over the internet all the time. That's right. He's got a Facebook page. Um, uh, I, I'm sure at some point we'll, we'll have to get to the Helen Thomas story. What? No. Yeah, don't you think? She looks like that guy from Saw. You know, Saw. Jigsaw? Jigsaw. Oh, that thing. I don't watch guy. it. Yeah. Yeah. I don't watch it. No, I didn't watch it either. Are you talking either, about him or are you talking about the doll? I'm talking about Helen Thomas, like the the, the, the oh, face mask. Oh. She looks like the face mask. Yes. And it's uh it's disturbing. Helen Thomas is now, <laughs> well she is the she's now officially the poster girl for anti-Semitic, anti-Israel media in this she's country. The and one of the worst for... kept secret is 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 she let out, she let it out. What yeah. people a lot of people already knew that there was a very significant number in the White House press corps that hate Israel. <laughs> yeah. And because, you know, they, they, they love the Palestinians. They're Let me just go ahead and right make now. the blanket political statement. There's a significant number of people in the White House that don't like Israel. Let's face it. Arizona now is officially the Israel of the United States. 
Because yeah. they're not getting any help either. No, no, not, no they're not. not. From our government. Um, so here's what we're going to do. Um, we're going to go out right now. We're going to welcome everybody. Um, uh, if you hang in there, we'll be back in just a minute. We're going to go with sports. Sounds we're good. We're getting back to our old routine. Right. We got, and as a matter of fact, we even have, believe it or not, a, no, a brand new rumor has it. Okay, I'm excited. Let's bring the thunder. Okay, Excellent. so we'll be right back with CobertRadio.com.